Finding work is a full-time job, but it's even more complicated when you learn some job postings aren't even legit. Contact 13's Trisha Keen has one Valley woman's warning after she became a target for scammers. You feel violated. You feel stupid. I thought, how could I fall for this? Deanne Klein is upset after getting what she thought was a real job opportunity. It's been very frustrating, but Looking for a job today is a lot different than it used to be. She's been out of work since April and applying for dozens of positions through a well-known job site. Last month, she emailed a woman named Amanda Hudson about a job and got this response. She said that um, she was a retired real estate attorney, that she was looking for a personal assistant to do things for her. Amanda needed someone to handle her scheduling, book flights and run errands. She was hoping to do a formal interview with Deanne once she was back in town from a business trip. Until then, Amanda wanted to get Deanne's basic information. The only thing I provided was my name, my address, and my cell phone number and my email. Deanne says they never even spoke over the phone, but a few days later, Amanda offered her the job. I thought this was like the greatest job in the world. It was the next email, though, that really started to worry Deanne. She goes, I mailed you a check, and when you get the check, Please deposit it into your account and then I'm going to have you start doing errands for me. There's no reason why you would be paid before services have ever been rendered. Um, good rule of thumb, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The Better Business Bureau says this is a popular scam. Thieves send you a convincing looking check. You deposit it. Then you're told to buy and ship something or send cash to a third party. A few days later, the check bounces and your bank comes looking to collect. So how do you avoid being a victim? First, do your homework. You need to find out more about that company, where they are, who they are, what they do. Second, be sure to confirm the identity of the person you're speaking with. Don't use the, the contact information that is being provided to you. Let your fingers do the walking. Find where that, that, that company is and call them directly. And third, get a face-to-face -face meeting. At least do FaceTime or Skype. If you are being contacted by a company that wants to hire you um, or even says that, hey, you got the job, okay, without, um, you know, a real interview, that's a red flag. As for Deanne, this $2,400 check she got in the mail is in fact a fake. Luckily, she told her daughter, who warned her about the scam. I was fortunate that it was caught, but it still has taken a toll on me. I thought I had a job, so I wasn't really actively looking for a job. So now Deanne is talking to Contact 13, hoping to warn other job seekers. It's terrible that this is being done today. I know it's not the only scam in the world, but it's a very serious one because people are looking for honest and gainful employment. For Contact 13, I'm Trisha Keen. All right, Trisha, thank you. And we wish Deanne the best in her job hunt. If you are the target of an online job scam, be sure to report it. That's what Deanne did. We have more information on how to do that on our website, ktnv.com.